Okay, we're at build, we're at build. I'm pumped, I can't tell you how pumped I am to be here with all of you, with the team, uh, just talking about Windows. And Windows has always been a place to create, to learn and connect. And one of the most humbling things on Windows for me is how you, our developer community, continues to engage with the platform and bringing value to over 1.4 billion of our shared customers. Windows is the platform for the world's innovation and you are the group that continues to unlock that. It's incredible. Thank you for all you do. But that's also why it's so critical for us to innovate and share with you the tools to dream big and turn your ideas into reality. Today, Satya had a chance to share with you the direction the Windows platform is going. And right now we're creating a world where we can better blend the client to the cloud, enabling hybrid compute and incredible AI. We're building on the GPU, the CPU, the MPU, and in essence, and in essence, we're introducing a fourth processor to Windows with Azure Compute, using Azure, one of the world's most powerful computers, to enable rich local experiences on Windows. We talk about this quite often as bringing Azure computing to the Windows client. In the future, moving between client and cloud compute, this is gonna be as easy or as seamless as moving between Wi-Fi and cellular on your phone today. You won't even know what's happening. It's just gonna be amazing what you can bring to it. Bringing Azure and Windows closer together is gonna to enable you to bring new classes of applications for your commercial and consumer customers. Starting with Windows 365 and ABD, we will continue to bridge towards that model today. Utilizing our open platform, open store, and open hardware ecosystem, empowering you to bring your skills, talent, and passion continuously forward. Today, we're gonna to share new updates to Windows 11 for developers specifically, including new app building tools to enable you to take your existing code and make it incredibly compelling on Windows, new ways to reach and engage customers through the Microsoft Store. We're gonna introduce a new development kit, I'm pumped about it, with AI capabilities called Project Volterra. And we're gonna introduce a comprehensive ARM native developer tool chain, all building towards our vision for hybrid compute and AI models, including MPU enabled devices for developers as we look to the future together. I hope you see both what you can do today as well as where we are going tomorrow. Now, please welcome Shilpa to share more about our open platform and open store. Thank you, Panos. I'm excited to be here representing Windows and sharing what's new for developers in Windows 11. Now, we know that many of our Windows customers come because of the innovation, insight, skill, and passion you have built into your applications and have made accessible through the Windows experience. Our belief is that by investing in Windows as an open platform, we can enable you to bring your existing code to over a billion customers and with very little effort, increase your app's appeal, usability, and engagement. The Windows App SDK 1.1 is in preview and it will be available soon. As an open platform, you can pick whichever technology you prefer to bring your apps to life. If you prefer to code in JavaScript, you can use React Native for Windows. And for those of you that want to target mobile and desktop, we just released .NET MAUI 1.0. And these are all built on top of WinUI when running on Windows. In addition to all of this, Windows also gives you the ability to build experiences that leverage touch, haptic pen, voice, and AI, to create features that truly differentiate your apps. Now, let me show you an example of how we're using these capabilities to enable you to capture better notes through a major update for OneNote. OneNote is also being updated with the same beautiful Windows 11 look and feel. And when you undock your pen, the app transitions into an expanded pen-focused view. We leverage voice and AI, and OneNote allows you to record and transcribe while simultaneously annotating. The new inking experience is natural, with tactile signals mimicking the feel of pen on paper, thanks to the small vibrations in the Surface Slim Pen 2. Inside OneNote, I can now see what was said alongside every stroke. I can see my annotations get replayed while still being able to listen to or read the entire transcript. And now you too can leverage the same multimodal input and Azure speech capabilities. We will continue to invest in Windows as the most open platform. 
allowing you to bring your existing apps and easily take advantage of platform-specific capabilities on Windows. We know building a great app isn't enough to lead to your success if customers cannot easily find your innovation. And we want to help, which is why one of the biggest investments we've made is the brand new Microsoft Store for Windows. We know that job number one is to bring more customers to the store and improve app discovery for those customers. We also know that many of you are seeking innovations in bringing Win32 applications more easily to the store, ways to improve engagement, and all of you are looking to better understand your customers through analytics. The new Microsoft Store was built to meet those needs. And the momentum in the Microsoft Store has been incredible. We saw a 50% increase in new apps and games in the first quarter of 2022, compared to the same period in 2021 before we launched the new store. The Microsoft Store gives you the freedom to easily bring any app that runs on Windows. The Amazon App Store is a great example. As part of the preview, Amazon has brought thousands of apps to Windows 11 and will continue to grow the catalog monthly. But that's not all. I'm thrilled to share that the App Store is expanding to five new countries by the end of this year. When we introduced the new store on Windows 11, we saw three times the number of visits over the previous store. From the very beginning, the Microsoft Store was designed to help you run your business. With our open policies, you have the choice to use the commerce engine that we provide with industry-leading revenue share, or you can use your own commerce engine in your app. And if you do, you get to keep 100% of your revenue. Let's take a moment to hear from developers about what they love about our store and how it's helping their business. Last year, we launched TikTok PWA to the Windows Store and have seen positive performance in return. Windows creators are actually some of our most powerful users, and they're creating more podcasts, videos, and social media content than ever before. Microsoft Store uh, being tightly integrated into Windows is a great natural fit for launching and distributing our application. The ability to manage that listing and all of those customers through the store has enabled us to go to market in more languages than we had initially expected. The Win32 Unmodified Apps allows WinZip to build a direct relationship with our customers while leveraging the reach of Microsoft. More than everything else, it excites us to go on this journey with Microsoft Store team because uh, they are really flexible and we see how the store is being developed. What excites us most about the Microsoft Store is Microsoft's commitment to work with app developers to create a healthy app marketplace. The Microsoft Store has helped us grow our business tremendously since we launched the PWA. Uh, it's a new point of discovery just given the types of devices that Microsoft has for its users. The Microsoft Store is a great place to showcase your applications. It has helped Canva grow by providing another platform for our users to access Canva. It's an amazing partnership. With an easy submission process and additional traffic we're bringing to our apps, we believe the ROI speaks for itself. We're independent and entirely member funded. And so being able to keep any amount of extra money that we can and extra revenue to reinvest in the community is huge, huge win for us. Now let's switch gears to talk about the investments we're making around app discovery. As a developer, whether you're trying to tap into your existing market or a new one, finding new customers is hard. That's why I'm excited to announce that we will soon start testing a new product called Microsoft Store Ads. Microsoft Store Ads will help you get your apps or games in front of the right customer at the right time. Using the Microsoft Advertising Portal, you will be able to create, run, and view ad campaigns in the store, improving discoverability and conversion for your app. Microsoft Store Ads will feature on one of the most important experiences of the store, the search results page. And when customers search, we show them the most relevant search results, along with the new relevant content suggestions. We're really excited for you to try this out. So sign up on our waitlist by visiting the link on the screen. Now, speaking of waitlists, let's move on to one final topic. What are we doing for Win32 developers? 
Well, last year, we announced our waitlist for the Win32 apps. The response has been amazing, and we've been working with some of you to begin onboarding your Win32 apps to our store. And of course, we've brought our own Win32 apps to the store too, like Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Teams, and Visual Studio. Today, the wait is over. If you are a developer on any of these platforms, frameworks targeting Windows, we want to welcome you to our store. We've also heard your feedback and have created a new store submission REST API to help you get your code seamlessly into the Microsoft Store. We've created an action that directly integrates into your CI CD pipeline. And finally, the store is empowering Win32 developers with actionable insights through analytics, giving you the information you need around install, health, and usage to help you make informed decisions without high costs or need for any complex infrastructure. Windows and the new Microsoft Store are built to improve your ability to reach and delight our shared customers. And while I'm incredibly proud of what we've done, I know we are not finished. We are committed to continuing to invest in Windows as an open platform and an open store based upon your feedback. Because at Windows, we know that our success is predicated on yours. Thank you. Please welcome Kevin. Thanks, Shilpa. Windows believes at its very core in an open hardware ecosystem, giving us more flexibility and more options, as well as the ability to support a wide range of scenarios. We also believe in having a diverse set of vendors who each offer incredible differentiated capabilities, from high-end gaming rigs to portable devices, from enterprise desktops to affordable PCs for education. But we're always looking for how to support more innovation. Today, there's perhaps no better example of silicon innovation than the emergence of NPUs, or neural processing units, chunks of silicon built specifically to accelerate AI inferencing while consuming much less power than if the CPU does the work itself. So I'm excited to announce we're working on Project Volterra. You'll be able to explore many AI scenarios using Project Volterra's amazing NPU via the new Snappy for Windows Toolkit and because we will see MPUs being built into most, if not all, future computing devices, we're going to make it easy for developers to leverage these new capabilities by baking support for MPUs into the end-to-end -end Windows platform. Our chief scientist, Stevie, will have more on this in just a minute. Next up, let's talk about ARM. We enabled Windows to run x86 and x64 Windows apps directly on ARM devices. But while existing apps run well under emulation, users want native apps. Native apps deliver the fastest, most responsive liquid smooth UX, consume less memory, storage, and I.O., and deliver great battery life. Which is why we are super excited to announce a comprehensive end-to-end -end ARM native tool chain, including full Visual Studio 2022 and VS Code, Visual C++, Modern.NET 6 in Java, Classic.NET Framework, Windows Terminal, and WSL and WSA for running Linux and Android apps. We're working towards full GA by the end of calendar year 2022, and you'll see the first preview of many of these tools in the next few weeks, including Visual Studio 2022. We're also hard at work helping many open source projects natively target ARM, including Python, Node, Git, LLVM, and more. We also know that devices and tools are really not enough. Developers today also rely on services for things like CI/CD and containers. Azure recently announced a public preview of their ARM VMs and are working on ARM Kubernetes container support as well. We'll soon be porting our CI/CD runners and agents, which you can use in your own build labs or with the new ARM Azure VMs. And we're working on adding CI/CD to Azure and GitHub's cloud-hosted services. So let's take a look at the new Visual Studio 2022 running on a Project Volterra device. Let's start by opening the new ARM native Visual Studio. When I take a look at the process and task manager, I see Visual Studio is running as a native ARM64 process. I've already cloned the .NET WPF samples repo in GitHub, so I can show you this app. When I open an existing project in Visual Studio, I might need to make a few changes. For example, I might need to update any NuGet package references to a version that supports ARM. Let's build the app and run it. 
And because Visual Studio and the compiler and the tools are all ARM native, it builds quickly. This sample is a photo viewer app. Here we see some photos from a trip last month. If I take a quick look at Task Manager again, I see the app I just built is also running as a native ARM64 process. Oh, it seems to be opening the wrong image. Looks like we have a bug. Let's take a look. Ah, looks like I left some test code in. I'm gonna set a breakpoint here, so it'll break into the debugger. I'm going to open the image again, and now I can make a quick change to my app to remove the test code and use hot reload to execute my changes while I'm debugging it without having to restart the app. And it opens a correct photo now. As you saw, using the new ARM native Visual Studio and .NET toolchain, I was able to build, debug, and update my app on the fly with the same productive developer workflow I have on X64, all running on an ARM-powered Project Volterra developer device. We'll announce more details about Project Volterra later this year. Now, to inspire you with an example of an amazing experience you can build when you bring together the power of the local device, the NPU, and the power of Azure ML, please welcome Stevie. Thanks, Kevin. We're at the dawn of a new computing era. It'll be dominated by massive compute needs where bigger is better. When AI models with billions of parameters is the norm, magic happens. But the compute needs of this era will not be solved by the edge nor the cloud alone. As Satya mentioned, Microsoft has a vision to design the world's computer, one that composes cloud and edge together as one entity, one computing fabric. To support this computing fabric, the neural processor will become an integral part of Windows PCs. Just like how GPUs and graphics technologies ignited computer-aided design in the 90s, NPUs and AI are driving the age of computer-aided reasoning today. In the near future, the speed of your computer will be measured by the power of its neural processor. Kevin just talked about Project Volterra. Its neural processor has the best-in-class AI computing capacity with mind-blowing efficiency. Let me give you a sneak peek at some of the AI experiences running on Project Volterra. Here you see our state-of-the-art face tracker. This is a complex and dense AI model, but it only consumes 145 milliwatts on the NPU. If we ran that same model on a high-end CPU, it would consume more than 20 watts while maxing out that CPU. In comparison, this NPU is 100 times more efficient. Another example is Microsoft's speech-to-text transformer model that usually runs in the cloud, but now it's running locally on this NPU. At only 137 milliwatts, the efficiency is mind-blowing with no loss of accuracy. But here's the real kicker. Take that high-density face tracker that could barely run on the best CPUs, add the cloud-level speech-to-text AI model, and throw in a few other experiences like background segmentation, a powerful AI denoiser, and even super resolution. Get this, they can all run continuously and concurrently on this MPU, leaving your CPU and your GPU free to sing on your other application tasks. These highly efficient and powerful neural processors will become ubiquitous across the Windows ecosystem. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg. AI is evolving fast. New math coupled with new silicon innovations are changing the rules of Moore's law. But to make your AI run efficiently hasn't been easy. At Microsoft, we're solving this problem for you. We're developing technologies that will help you compile, deploy, and run your AI across multiple operating systems and processors. All this without compromising performance. And through this process, we're making it easier to load shift between Azure and the Edge. Now this unlocks a powerful programming pattern we call the hybrid loop. This hybrid loop blurs the line between where Azure ends and where your device begins, bringing more computing power to your application. Take a look at this demo. Here you see our prototype AI toolchain in Azure ML. Starting from an open source super resolution model, we're gonna compile and run it across multiple processors. The output of this step are silicon specific optimized AI binaries that I'll include in my application. 
To show the cross-platform nature of these technologies, here's that same application running natively on Windows, as a web app with a native AI stack, and an Android app on Surface Duo. Under the hood is the same engine, Onyx Runtime, our cross-platform, cross-silicon, and even cross-cloud and edge API. It's so cool that we can go across cloud and edge and make that seamless for you. Watch as I click on the toggles, I'm asking Onyx Runtime to execute the corresponding AI model across the CPU, the GPU, the NPU, and Azure. I am thrilled to announce that we're working on a new and exciting Azure execution provider for Onyx Runtime. Not only can Onyx Runtime invoke the local processors, but it's also capable of using Azure Compute to run your AI workloads, especially the largest models. All this under a unified API across platforms and across cloud and edge. The new Azure Execution Provider, Onyx Runtime, and its toolchain are seminal technologies to power the hybrid loop. Here at Microsoft, we're using the power of software to solve the hardware and ecosystem complexities inherent in this new and exciting space of AI. Silicon and platform innovations are gonna change the type of applications you write. They will foundationally be based on AI. They will intuit the tasks of the customer. They will help people solve problems that were never before imagined but they will demand compute and they will drive how devices will operate and be designed. Microsoft will be here to help you scale your experiences with new tools, new technologies, and greater compute. Use them and build magical applications. This is the call to action. There's a whole blue ocean out there. Go for it. Be creative, be audacious, be bold.